If these two were the same color, I would not blame you if you could not tell them apart. The new Galaxy S24 FE is so similar to the Galaxy S24 Plus that I think Samsung should have just called the FE the S24 Plus Lite instead. In fact, these two share so many similarities that it just doesn't make sense buying the S24 Plus for $1,000 when you can get 99% of the features with the S24 FE for $650. So let's take a look at the subtle differences between these two phones and how Samsung might just have made the best value for money phone of the year. First, design-wise, these are both 6.7-inch phones, so they're big but not gigantic. The S24 FE has slightly bigger borders around the screen, so it's a tiny bit wider and taller, and it weighs nearly 8% more. But that difference is barely noticeable in real life. Now, both come with flat sides with a matte aluminum finish, but the glass on the back of the S24 FE is glossy, while the glass on the S24 Plus is frosted. And the camera's out just a little bit more on the S24 FE. Now up front you've got a 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED screen on both with again some slight differences. The S24 Plus can get a bit brighter and at night it can drop to one net of brightness for comfort while the S24 FE cannot drop quite as low. The S24 Plus also has a 1440p resolution while the S24 FE runs at 1080p. Now most people probably won't notice this but if you look up close yes the S24 Plus appears a bit sharper. Under the hood, the S24 Plus comes with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset in the US, while other markets get an Exynos 2400 processor. The S24 FE arrives with a version of that same Exynos chip everywhere, even in the US. Samsung calls it Exynos 2400E, and the only difference is that the performance core can hit slightly lower maximum speeds. Essentially, performance is the same on these two. Now the only bigger difference is the RAM. You have 12 gigs of RAM on the S24 Plus and 8 gigs on the S24 FE. In real life you probably won't notice again, but for more intense AI tasks or for multitasking, the S24 Plus has the upper hand. And speaking of AI, both support the same Galaxy AI features, so no need to worry about that. Alright, so what about the cameras? You got three cameras on the back of both phones. They share the same 50 megapixel Pixel main camera using the same Samsung GN3 sensor. Both have a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, but the S24 Plus uses a slightly bigger sensor for it. And finally, you've got a 10 megapixel 3x zoom camera on the S24 Plus and an 8 megapixel camera on the S24 FE. Slight differences. And just look at the images from the main camera. The quality is the same, and even with the ultra wide and zoom cameras, you can hardly notice a difference at all. Here are a few shots, take a look and and see if you can spot a difference. Now, one strange limitation is that you cannot record 4K60 videos with the ultra wide camera on the S24 FE, but that's about it in terms of camera deficiencies. So, what about battery life? Well, the S24 Plus comes with a 4900 mAh battery capacity, which is about 4% bigger than the 4701 on the S24 FE. In reality, both last about the same, which is a bit more than a day in real in the real world. But the S24 Plus does support 45W fast charging, while on the FE you only get 25W speeds. We tested both and we found that a 30-minute top-up gives you 61% charge back on the S24 24 plus and 47% charge on the FE model. Finally, let's talk prices. The S24 Plus costs $1,000, but these days you can often find it discounted to as low as $800. The S24 FE price is $650 and we already see it discounted to $550. And as you saw above, there are some very minor differences between these two. For the most part, they are the same phone, just with a slightly different name. So our advice here, skip the Plus and just get the FE. You save quite a bit of money and you're not losing on any major feature. In fact, the S24 FE might just be the best value phone of the year, if you ask us. So let me know, for about $600, do you think there is a better phone on the market right now? And which one do you think it is? Thanks for watching and I'll be curious to see your thoughts in the comments right below.